Good news everyone, Sony has just launched its fresh new Xperia 5 Mark II smartphone, a serious upgrade over last year's original Xperia 5 which once again brings the bulk of those flagship Xperia 1 features to a more compact form factor with the added bonus of a slightly more affordable price tag too. Of course the Xperia 5 Mark II in exactly cheap costing 799 quid SIM free but you do get an awful lot of tech for that price tag. And the even gooder news is that unlike the Xperia 1 Mark II flagship, you won't actually have to wait a full half a year before you can get your mitts on one of these buggers because it's going to be going on pre-order from October the 1st and then on full general sale from the week commencing October the 12th. So here's everything you need to know about Sony's last big smartphone of 2020 ahead of my in-depth Xperia 5 Mark II review. And for more than the latest greatest sec, please do pop subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers! Sony Xperia 5 Mark II Design so what you get with the Mark II is that same hand-lovingly compact form factor as the original Xperia 5. In fact, that 163 gram frame is actually a fraction thinner than before, despite the fact that Sony has managed to cram in a much bigger battery. Absolute sheer witchcraft. And you've also got more rounded corners on the Xperia 5 Mark II for a more comfortable hand feel, as Sony puts it. And you can expect the Xperia 5 Mark II to be tougher than a Weatherspoon stick, because this thing once again comes clad in Corning Gorilla Glass 6 front and back. And as with the other Xperia's, it's fully IP68 water and dust resistant. Sadly, here in the UK, you will just have a choice of just two colours, black and blue, although that blue model is online only, so you'll have to order your new blower via Sony's website if you fancy that lighter hue. And besides all of that, the only real difference with the Xperia 5 2's design is the addition of a dedicated Google Assistant button shoved alongside the camera button down on that bottom right edge. Now this one's got me just a tad concerned because as it is, I often accidentally press that camera button when I'm yanking other Xperia smartphones out of my pants. So now it looks like I may well be summoning the assistant as well as inadvertently taking pictures of my crotch every time I just want to check my messages. Xperia 5 Mark II Entertainment as with last year's blower, you once again got a 6.1 inch OLED display that is blissfully notch free and rocking Sony's now trademark 21x9 finish, making it an ideal way to take in your favourite flick on the move. It's not some crazy 4K panel here like the Xperia 1 Mark II flagship though, instead you have a more sedate Full HD Plus resolution and at this sort of screen size that'll still mean perfectly sharp visuals as demonstrated right here by the original Xperia 5, which more than did the job for a bit of Netflix action. You've got HDR10 support again and Sony's creator mode is also back in action to tweak the visual palette and serve up supported content just as the director intended. The only difference being that creator mode is now automatically activated every time you load up a supported app such as Netflix, but no worries if you're not a fan because you can knock that off in the display settings. Now one of the biggest proper display updates for the Sony Xperia 5 Mark II is the dedicated native 120Hz refresh rate. Now that's double the refresh rate of last year's original Xperia 5 and also of this year's Xperia 1 Mark II flagship phone as well which topped off at 60Hz and instead offered software optimization to try and emulate a smoother 90Hz style finish. And as usual Sony has smashed it on the audio side as well. You've got full Dolby Atmos tuning and a proper stereo speaker setup with both of those speakers being front facing so you get all that lovely noise blasted right at your mug. And yes Sony has once again brought back that 3.5mm headphone jack so dongle haters rejoice. You've also got a bit of high res audio action, you've got your LDAC support for wireless headphones and you've got Sony's excellent digital sound enhancement engine as well as its new ultimate edition introduced on that flagship smartphone which can just enhance crappy sound and compressed tracks to make them sound more full body, get those finer details and those higher frequencies back in action. And there's once again full support for 360 degree reality audio as well for you Tidal lovers out there and if you don't use Tidal well you'll get a free 3 month subscription service with your Xperia 5 Mark II. And if you want to download a shag load of high fidelity tracks and movies to enjoy wherever you wander, good news you've got a respectable enough 128 gigs of storage on board the Xperia 5. Xperia 5 Mark II Performance and Gaming now as with that flagship Sony device, no worries on the performance front for the Xperia 5 Mark II, it's once again powered by Qualcomm's flagship Snapdragon 865 chipset. Now, I've got to admit I was kind of hoping we would see the plus version of the Snapdragon 865 crammed in here instead, but to be fair the standard 865 is still beefier than a whole sack full of corned beef sandwiches with burgers instead of bread. And that 8 gigs of RAM should keep things ticking along nicely as well. And the good news is that Sony has also crammed in Qualcomm's 5G modem, so you've got a good bit of future proofing on that front too. Oh, and if you're a mobile gaming fan, then get ready to have your undercrackers blown off in excitement. The Xperia 5 Mark II is a gamer's dream, and I'm not just talking because of that powerful processor, or Sony's notch-free screen with 120Hz refresh rate, or of course that stereo.
stereo speaker setup. Sony has also added a whole heap of bonus features just to improve your gaming experience. So for instance, as if a 120Hz refresh rate wasn't enough, apparently the Xperia 5 Mark II can emulate a 240Hz refresh rate by inserting black frames where appropriate, which is particularly good for really fast-paced games like racing titles. Will it actually work in real life though? Well, I'm definitely intrigued and I'll be testing that out in full for my full Xperia 5 Mark II review. And apparently Sony has added toggles for the 120 and the 240Hz refresh options in the game enhancer mode so you can actually toggle it and see the updated results in real time. And you've also got the new competition set feature there in game enhancer as well which is basically the equivalent of OnePlus's Fnatic mode so it just dedicates all of the phone's resources to your game at hand and ensures that you're not interrupted so your focus is right there where it's needed. And Sony's excellent HS power mode as well which was introduced in the Xperia 1 Mark II flagship phone is back in action too. So you can have your phone plugged in while you're gaming and the battery charge will remain static so your battery life over time isn't absolutely mauled, your fingers aren't singed and the performance stays good. The Xperia 5 Mark II should be better at heat dissipation as well thanks to the new graphene layers that are installed in there which would distribute that heat more effectively. And as if all of that wasn't enough already, the Xperia 5 Mark II also boasts a 240Hz touch response rate which is ideal for any games where reactions are essential. Xperia 5 Mark II Battery Life now last year's Xperia 5 smartphone made do with a measly 3140 milliamp battery but thankfully for the Mark II, despite the fact that it's not a big fat mama, you've now got a mighty 4000 milliamp battery stuffed in there instead so hopefully we'll get all day battery life. When it comes to recharging the battery, well that tops off at 21 watts but you won't even get that with the charger bundled in the Xperia 5 Mark II's box, you'll have to buy the optional Sony fast charger separately in order to get that speed. And also in order to trim costs and actually make the design work and everything there is no support for wireless charging here on the Xperia 5 Mark II either unlike the flagship phone. However thankfully you once again get Sony's excellent adaptive charging battery care feature which will just prevent your battery from overcharging if you leave it plugged in overnight which can bulk your battery life in the long run. And in the battery care settings you'll find a couple of new options including the ability to stop the Xperia 5 Mark II from ever charging above 90% to really preserve that battery life over time. Really handy if you plan on keeping this as your full-time phone for a good, you know, three, four, five years. Xperia 5 Mark II Camera Tech. Now one of the best bits of the Xperia 1 Mark II flagship phone was Sony's super smart camera tech and as hoped and expected you'll get the same slick triple lens system right here on the Xperia 5 Mark II all with Zeiss's T-Star coating for shooting in bright light. So that's a triple 12 megapixel lens setup. You get a 16 mm ultra wide angle, a 24 mm primary lens and a 70 mm telephoto lens. While around front you've also got an 8 megapixel selfie snapper hidden in that top bezel. Sony Mobile's collaboration with its Alpha camera team means you can once again capture great looking photos with perfect focus in crazy quick time. 70% of that sensor is used for the autofocus and that combined with the AI based subject recognition as well as the real time eye autofocus for humans and animals means you should not get fuzzy photos. Moving subjects will be ably handled as well with the 20 frames per second burst shooting mode complete with real time autofocus and exposure. And like that flagship phone, the Xperia 5 Mark II should be a big step up compared with its predecessor as far as low light shooting is concerned thanks to the larger sensor and Sony's smarter noise reduction tech. Once again, Sony's brilliant Photo Pro feature is on board, this time offering dual RAW and JPEG support straight out of the box. And you once again have that excellent updated Cinema Pro app for capturing gorgeous cinematic style footage. With the added bonus of a fresh new 120 frames per second slow motion mode which can apparently shoot at 4K resolution with those HDR smarts as well for an indefinite time. Xperia 5 Mark II, the end bit where I ask you to subscribe and stuff. So that right there is the Sony Xperia 5 Mark II smartphone in a nutshell and frankly I'm more excited than a school bus full of sugar filled kids on their way to Christmas land. What you've got here is all the very best features from that excellent Sony Xperia 1 Mark II flagship phone crammed into a more compact and hand pleasing form factor with even more great features for gamers packed in there. And I've got to say the bits that have been called like the 4K resolution display and the wireless charging support I'm not really that bothered about especially if it means the Xperia 5 Mark II comes in at a more affordable asking price. But what about you? Are you a bit disappointed that you don't get that 4K finish, you don't get the wireless charging? Or like me, are you giddy with joy at the prospect of clutching one of these things in your mitts? Well, definitely stay tuned for my full in-depth hands-on Sony Xperia 5 Mark II coverage, including an in-depth review, which hopefully will be coming in the next sort of couple of weeks. And for more on the latest, greatest tech, please do pop subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers, everyone. Love you.